Welcome to our Qubit how-to video series. Qubit is the natural estimator solution for a wide range of construction professionals, from quantity surveyors and commercial builders through to residential builders and subcontractors. In this video, I'll be discussing the benefits of assigning a job or price list to your estimate and how to utilize this powerful feature of Qubit. Let's get started. Assigning a price list or job to your estimate is a simple process that we refer to as external referencing. External referencing allows you to quickly find and place data in your estimate from previously made jobs and from your price lists. To assign a job, click the configuration tab, click assign jobs, and choose the job that you'd like to assign to this estimate. You'll see now in the references pane on the right hand side of my screen all of the trades from that job have appeared with their rates, their units and any available factor. To assign one or more price lists to your estimate come back to the configuration tab, click assign price lists Select any price list you wish to assign and click OK. In the price list tab, we now have our brick price list with all of the rates and units and our decking price list. You'll see just above the word find, we can choose between our assigned jobs and our assigned price lists. If you'd like to add a rate to an existing line item, simply select that line item, come to your references and drag it to the rate sheet. As you see now, appearing in orange is that entire reference line for my bricks. My rate has disappeared from my estimate because I haven't quantified this rate yet. As we're measuring in thousands for our rate, but in square meters for our takeoff, I need to do a conversion. Quickly typing in one divided by 1000 times 52, because we might have 52 bricks per square meter, and pushing enter will complete this process. We can also add a rate directly to the rate cell. As you see here, I have a trade ready to go for our terrace. I've taken off the area using our length by center result type at 95 mil centers. I'm going to add our 80 by 19 mil yellow stringy bark decking to this item. This time, instead of adding the rate to the rate sheet, I'm going to drag across whilst holding shift on my keyboard and drop the rate directly on the cell. As you see, that rate is now referencing our price list and the rate sheet remains empty. As we are measuring in lineal meters in the price list and in our shape, our quantities are correct, our rates are correct we do not need to do any other conversions. So as you see, between our terraced area where we dragged with the shift button held, and our brickwork area where we dragged to our rate sheet, there are two different ways of administering your external references. On top of individual items, however, you can drag entire trades. Let's do that now. Firstly, we need to make sure that we have selected our Assigned Jobs tab. And it's simply a matter of grabbing a trade, for instance, our carpeting trade, dragging it over to our estimate and dropping it into place. As you see here, my carpeting trade references all of the data in that other job, including rates and units and is ready to be taken off. One of the main benefits of using external referencing 
is that your data will automatically prompt you to update should the source change. For instance, let's go back to our price list. and update the prices for our bricks all by 5%. We'll close the price list and come back to our job and Cuba will prompt us. Yes, we'd like to update and that rate now has been updated. So there you have it. Assigning data from multiple sources external to your job is fast and easy with Qubit and external referencing. If you have any questions, remember that our team is here to help. You can contact our support team or visit our knowledge base online for more information that will help you with using Qubit. Happy estimating.